Chapter 2. Haunting Mamori Civil couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled in his chest since he first laid eyes on Madonna's ghostly figure. He spent the entire night tossing and turning in his bed, haunted by vivid nightmares of her pale face and empty eyes. The next morning, Aval decided to confide in his mother, Katie, about the strange encounter. She listened intently, her brow furrowing with concern as he recounted the events of the previous day. I think I need to find out more about Madonna, Avel said, his voice trembling slightly. I can't stop thinking about her, about what she wants from me. Katie placed a comforting hand on his shoulder, her eyes filled with understanding. I'll help you, Avel. We can visit the local library and see if we can uncover any information about her. And so, later that day, mother and son found themselves poring over dusty old books and faded newspapers in search of any mention of Madonna. They discovered that she had been a beautiful young woman who tragically died in a car accident over 50 years ago. Her death had been a great tragedy in the small town, leaving her family and friends devastated. As Avell read on, he came across an article that mentioned Madonna's boyfriend at the time of her death, a man named Diego. The article detailed how Diego had been driving the car on that fateful night and how he had been plagued by guilt ever since. A chill ran down Avell's spine as he read the words. His heart heavy with sorrow for Madonna and Diego. He couldn't help but feel a strange connection to the tragic couple, as if their spirits were reaching out to him from beyond the grave. That night, as Avell drifted off to sleep, he was once again visited by Madonna's ghostly figure. But this time, she was not alone. Diego stood beside her, his eyes filled with remorse and longing. Avell could feel their presence in the room, a cold chill enveloping him as they silently watched over him, and as he gazed into their sorrowful eyes, he knew that he was meant to help them find peace, to uncover the truth behind their tragic deaths.